In this video we're going to take a model with a dull flat skin and by adjusting a few surface settings add a little bit of depth, realism and a touch of life into it. Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco. I hope you're doing well. Sometimes when you get a, a new model that you, you put into a scene, the skin can sometimes look a little bit flat, a little bit dead, uh, and lacking a little bit of life or that spark that makes it really stand out. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to delve into the surface settings. We're going to change a few of those little key settings in there. And then like we, we showed in the intro, we're going to bring it to life a little bit, put a little bit of spark in there by bringing out the highlights in the skin. There are three key elements to getting good highlights on the skin. Uh, first of all, we're talking the skin texture itself. Not just the base colour, but the details, the pores, the wrinkles and the micro maps that, that make a skin feel real. Now, PBR skins on Genesis 8.1 and Genesis 9 models do this best, but any model really can benefit. The second key element is light position. Now, highlights depend on the relationship between the camera, the model, and the light that's shining upon the model. As this diagram shows, different angles give different results. And thirdly, and finally, which is the focus of this video, the surface tap. With a few tweaks here and there, we can make sure that the materials that we use and the skin texture is set up to catch the highlights properly and bring a little bit of life and vitality to our models within our renders. So how are we going to do this then? Well, as we can see over in the viewport, we've already got our model. She's all lit up. I've got my spotlight at about a 60 degree angle. So if you refer back to that little diagram from a moment ago, that's me looking to bring out a, quite a high level of highlights when we make sure the surface is conducive to them. So what we need to do, we need to come up to our uh, scene tab and make sure our model is selected. Then we need to come down to the surfaces tab find Genesis 9 female in the, the mess that's there. And then what we want to do, we want to select skin uh, there. And what that will do, that will ensure that all of the skin services are selected for us. Now, instead of us scrolling through all the sliders that are available in the surface tab, what we're going to do, we're just going to come up to this little filter box. We're going to type in SP, oops, SPEC, short for specular. And it's going to pull out all of the sliders that are relevant to what we're going to be wanting to be doing here. Now, little word of caution, depending on what model that you're using, you might not see the exact sliders that I'm showing here on my screen on your own screen. Uh, it, it depends also on, on whether you're using an Uber shader or the newer PBR shader. But roughly what you want, you want the specular weight, the specular reflectivity, and at least one of these roughness dual lobe specular one roughness sliders or, the, or number two. You might only have one there, but most people should have two. Uh, and these are the only the four slide, sliders that we're going to be working with. Now the specular weight slider up here, this determines how much of the other sliders gets uh, added into our our skin so it's relatively low at the moment so it, what it'll basically do is act as a multiplier to everything else uh, because it's low it's only applying a quarter of what uh, it could be doing if it was turned up full uh, reflect reflectivity is as it sounds it's how reflective the skin is and the roughness sliders themselves these determine just how the light is broken up once it hits the skin if it's a rough skin not as much light will get reflected out it'll get captured within the pores etc etc uh, but it'll give a little bit more of a realistic look if there's a little bit of roughness to the skin now, unfortunately, there isn't any magic catch-all numbers for this. It is just comes down to a little bit of expect, experimentation because every skin's different, every light and setup's different, every camera angle's different. So you, you've got to play around with these a little bit to be able to get the results that you want. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to immediately, I'm just going to increase the specular weight to about 0.6. For now, they might see a little bit of a, a change in the skin over on the left. And now I'm going to increase the reflectivity to about 0 0.40. We can now start to see a little bit of highlight forming, certainly around here on a cheek and maybe up here on the side of a forehead. So, so far, so good. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, now is I'm going to drop the roughness down. So this will allow more light to bounce back. I'm going to drop them both down to 0.6 on each of them. And as you can now see, the full effect of the highlight of the skin picking up the light and reflecting it into the camera is a, it's probably the best that I would want it to be at uh, for this particular model. Uh, 
like I said, there's no fixed numbers for this, so don't just copy my numbers. Maybe use as a start, but there's no real fixed numbers for this. You'll have to play around depending on the model that you, you've got in scene. Uh, I did mention the specular weight, how that acts as a multiplier to everybody else. So, for instance, if I was to now increase the specular, specular weight up to a full one, we end up with the highlights being a little bit OTT and a little bit too bright. And likewise, if we went back to that original 0.25 that we were on, the highlights are now barely shown. You can just maybe make them out on the end of the nose and here on the cheek. Uh, so the specs are once you've got everything down here set the way that you like it and you're getting the type of highlights that you want, play around with your weight to try and get uh, the exact effect that you're looking for. Now, don't expect to get the same results with every model, with every skin, with every shader uh, when you play around with these numbers. Some skins and some textures are just better at bringing out the highlights than others. That can't be helped. We can't really change that. Uh, so, but, you know, do play around with the numbers and do experiment with these numbers because uh, you can get decent results, even on older models and, and the old Uber models and the old Uber shaders. Uh, you can still get good results with uh, your highlights and just playing around with the spec highlights like this. Uh, but that's it. That's how we bring out the highlights in our models, put a bit of life into the skin uh, just by playing around with these specular re reflectivities and the dual lobe specular weights and roughnesses that we see here in the surface sliders. Uh, hopefully you've got something out of this video. If so, give us a like down below as that tells YouTube that I'm a better YouTuber than what I actually am. And it gives me a little boost in the rankings with this video. Likewise, if you haven't already... Uh, subscribed please consider doing so and hitting the little notification bell down below so you don't miss any other videos in the future and if you've got any questions any comments whether it's about this whether it's about another video or any other topic uh, that you want to have a chat about leave it down below in the comments and i'll get back to you as soon as i possibly can thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye bye now